watching this video man because you want to know how to maintain a fung bed or how to get that fung bed look you may have a bed but it doesn't look thick and fung don't worry about it man i'm gonna give you on the right tips the right tools to share with y'all so that you can get that fung bed look that you desire man all right i'm gonna keep it short sweet and simple for you all you feel me What's good everybody, it's your boy Vivi Shot back with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that like button, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the little bell. Click the little bell to turn on post notifications so you could know whenever I upload. Alright, so the first tip I got for y'all is telling your barbers to do not shave on the hair. Alright, if you want a full thick bit like Rick Ross, tell your barbers do not touch on the hair. Whenever I get my beard lined up, the barber lines up along the sideburns. He comes right across here. He doesn't touch here, but on the side, he just go down and that's it. He doesn't touch anywhere underneath. You have to let the hair grow on the hair, man. A lot of you guys got, like, y'all get your bed lined up by the cheek and then by the jawline, the barber would just shave all that hair underneath your neck you have to keep that hair underneath your neck if you want your bed to look thick and firm come on guys tell your barbers do not shave underneath your neck that's how your bed is gonna transform man i'm telling you guys it covers the entire underneath my neck area here this area is firm turn around from my sideburn straight down man because this is what I noticed I used to get my bed trim at the jawline and the barber would take everything off underneath and after a while it left some ingrown hair oh! underneath here and many people come on those that do this we all know you're gonna see those small fizz bits it looks real bad like after a week after you get your hair trim or your bed trim after one week we all know this area here is gonna be filled with bumps and the little hair is gonna start growing back again if it's growing back again just keep it while you're shaving it off keep it and watch how your bed watch how your bed is gonna transform i'm telling you guys man so do not shave underneath your neck second tip is you have to keep your bed moisturized. You cannot leave your bed dry. Keep your bed moisturized, man. This is tracing around hair and bed oil. You can find it in the link in the description below with the discount code Turks at checkout. I use this oil every single day. Keep your bed moisturized. Apply some bed oils, man. Trust me. The way you love your bed is the way your bed is gonna love you. Remember this tip I'm telling you guys, man. If you don't love your bed, your bed is not it's not gonna show no love for you. Your parents is gonna look real bad if you don't apply the necessary oils. Keep your bed moist because if you don't, your bed is prone to get split and it's gonna get damaged. I mean, like, how can you go, how do you feel comfortable, like, really, as a man, how do you feel comfortable going to sleep every single night without applying no form of bed oils or bed butter or moisturizer? Come on, your bed needs to stay moist, and these oils here have numerous, numerous benefits for your bed, man, and it improves your bed growth. I also got this. Biotin and collagen conditioner. I also got these biotin pills. This one is 10. Oh, you can't really see good, but this is Nature's Bounty Biotin 10,000 micrograms, and this is Pinnacle 12,000 12, micrograms of biotin. Man, take one pill daily if you want to improve your hair growth, your nail growth, your overall hair growth, whether it be your beard. Your hair, your eyebrows, biotin is the way to go. You will see your hair thickness improve. You will see your beard thickness improve. On the hair on your body, you will see improved thickness. Taking daily dosage of biotin. Also, you have to drink lots and lots and lots of water. 
Drink water. Improve your overall diet. Stop eating junk food, drinking sodas, because what you put in your body is what's going to reflect. Garbage in, garbage out. Now, that's it. It's very simple. Very, very simple. It isn't rocket science. Because many of you got many of you guys out there have a beard, but you don't know how to maintain it and you don't know how to keep it thick or don't know what you're doing wrong because some of you guys oh you have a beard, you just go to the barber, you let the barber do whatever he wants to do. You're in control of your beard, bro. So once you sit in that barber chair, it's it's up to you. It's your responsibility. You have to speak. You cannot be shy. It's your responsibility to tell your barber the way you want your beard to be trimmed, the way you want your beard to be lined up and groomed. Because if you don't, if, if you don't have these talks with your barber, trust me, he's gonna go right there, cut off all your progress. You're the one leaving the barber afterwards, and you're gonna be like, wow. Wow, I, I, I really waited three weeks. I've seen some progress and the barber just shaved it off. Make sure you talk to your barber before you get your beard trim. It's very easy, bro. So first step, I talked about your barber telling him to not shave underneath your neck area. This is the most important tool if you want your beard to look real thick and full. Look, I mean, look, bro, my beard reaches way down here. Second tip is apply the necessary oils, moisturizers, conditioner, thickening conditioner, and apply some and take some daily dosage of biotin, man, and drink lots and lots of water. Also, you can use a beard comb. Don't use them small combs, bro. Use a beard comb. Beard comb, you can easily comb through the beard without any beard hair pulling off. Those small rat tail combs you be using. You be combing your beard, grooming your beard, and once you look, you see a lot of strand of hair onto the comb. You will not want that, man, all right? So buy a beard comb. You can find these cheap on Amazon for like two, three dollars. But that's it. Very simple tips, very simple um, advice to y'all that y'all can take into consideration if you want your beard to look thick and full. Very simple method, but Without further ado, I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. It's your boy, Baby Shad. Catch on in the next video, man. Hey, make sure you like this video. Share this video to five friends right now that needs this help, that needs the, that needs to hear this advice. All right? But subscribe to the channel. We get more videos on the way, man. Summer 2022. We're coming out with more and more bangers. Keep those questions loaded in the comment section. I will answer them in a video for you guys man i promise that i'm gonna be consistent throughout this summer university is finished so i'm back on youtube right now and i'm here to help you guys up man appreciate it love y'all man we out